Now, we all know Toyota, they make sensible cars, reliable cars. But did you know they're also at the forefront of a hydrogen-powered revolution? It's true. They've developed a game-changing engine that runs on hydrogen, not hydrogen fuel cells, mind you. This is a proper internal combustion engine, just like the one in your lawnmower. But instead of petrol, it burns hydrogen. And get this, it's cooled by water. Yes, you heard right, water. It's a clever bit of engineering, really. This isn't just some wacky science experiment either. Toyota is serious about hydrogen. They see it as a key player in a greener future. Why? Well, when you burn hydrogen, you know what you get? Water, that's it. No nasty emissions, just pure, clean H2O. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hydrogen, isn't that a bit dangerous? Well, it can be if you're not careful. That's why Toyota has gone to great lengths to make this engine as safe as a cup of chamomile tea. Right, let's talk about hydrogen. It's the most abundant element in the universe. We're practically swimming in the stuff. And when you burn it, you get energy, lots of energy. Plus, as we've established, the only byproduct is water. Talk about eco-friendly. But there's a catch, as there always is. Hydrogen combustion creates a lot of heat, a lot. And managing that heat is crucial. If things get too toasty, the engine can, let's just say, have a bit of a meltdown. Not ideal, really. That's where Toyota's engineers have put on their thinking caps. They've come up with a rather ingenious solution, water injection. Now, before you think they're just chucking buckets of water into the engine, it's a bit more sophisticated than that. Here's how it works. Tiny, precisely measured droplets of water are injected directly into the combustion chamber. This water then evaporates, absorbing a significant chunk of the heat generated by the burning hydrogen. It's like a miniature air conditioning system for the engine. Clever, eh? But wait, there's more. This engine also boasts something called dual timing capability. Now, I won't bore you with the technicalities. Essentially, it means the engine can switch between different combustion modes depending on the driving conditions. This ensures optimal performance and efficiency, whether you're cruising down the motorway or nipping to the shops. And who orchestrates this entire symphony of combustion? Why, the engine control unit, of course. Section 4. The brains behind the burn, the ECU's balancing act. The ECU is like the conductor of an orchestra. It monitors a whole bunch of sensors and makes lightning-fast calculations to ensure everything runs smoothly. Think of it as the brain of the engine, making sure the water injection, dual timing and all the other clever bits work together in perfect harmony. The result? A hydrogen-powered engine that's not only powerful and efficient, but also remarkably clean. It's proof that you can have your cake and eat it too. Or in this case, drive your car without destroying the planet. But Toyota's hydrogen ambitions don't stop there. Oh no, they've got big plans. Section 5, Beyond the Road, Toyota's Hydrogen Horizons. Toyota isn't just putting all its eggs in one basket, or should I say all its hydrogen in one car. They're exploring the use of hydrogen across a range of applications. They've got hydrogen-powered cars, buses, trucks, even forklifts. And don't forget their foray into hydrogen racing. That's right, they've been putting hydrogen engines through their paces on the racetrack, proving that sustainable technology can be pretty darn exciting. Now, I know what you're thinking. James, you're saying, what about electric cars? Aren't they the future? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Section 6. Hydrogen versus electric, a tale of two futures. Electric vehicles have come a long way, that's for sure. They're quiet, they're nippy, and they're getting more affordable, but they have their limitations. Range anxiety is a real thing, and charging infrastructure can be a bit patchy. Plus, the batteries, uh, well, let's just say they're not exactly light on resources. Hydrogen, on the other hand, offers some distinct advantages. Refueling is quick and easy, just like filling up with petrol. And hydrogen vehicles generally have a longer range than their battery-powered counterparts. Plus, hydrogen can be produced from renewable sources, making it a truly sustainable option in the long run. So, who will win the battle for the future of transportation? It's a tough call. Section 7. Toyota's Balancing Act, a multifaceted approach to a greener tomorrow. Toyota, being the sensible chaps they are, are hedging their bets. They're investing in hydrogen, 
hybrids and electric vehicles. They recognize that there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Different technologies will suit different needs in different parts of the world. It's all about having a diverse range of options to choose from. So, there you have it. Toyota's water-cooled hydrogen engine is a fascinating glimpse into a future where cars are not only fun to drive, but also kind to the planet. Whether hydrogen will become the dominant fuel of the future remains to be seen. But one thing's for sure, Toyota will be right there in the thick of it, innovating and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And that's something we can all get behind. If you like our videos, please like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified our new videos.